You are watching Bubbly Brainiac Storytime. Today's story is titled Squat, Scrunch, Lift, and Hop. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification button. Once upon a time, in a lush green pond, lived a happy little frog named Hoppy. Hoppy loved to explore the world around him, hopping from one pond to another. But there was something special about Hoppy's way of hopping that made him the best jumper in the whole pond. He called it the Hoppy Jump. One sunny morning, Hoppy woke up happy. He hopped out of his lily pad and squatted down, getting ready for an exciting day. As he squatted, he said with a smile, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. Hoppy's first adventure was to find the biggest and juiciest fly for his breakfast. He hopped over lily pads, squatted down low to get a good view, scrunching his little froggy face, and then lifted himself high into the air. With a big leap, he caught the fly midair and exclaimed, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. Next, Hoppy wanted to visit his friend, Freddy the fish, in the sparkling pond nearby. He hopped along the winding forest path, squatting down to examine colorful flowers, scrunching his nose as he smelled their sweet fragrance, and lifting himself to admire the tall trees. With a joyful leap, he landed right in the pond, making a splash. Hoppy laughed and said, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. As the day went on, Hoppy's adventures continued. He hopped over rocks, squatted to watch busy ants marching in a line, scrunched his little froggy toes, and lifted himself high to catch glimpses of birds soaring in the sky. With each jump, he shouted, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. Finally, the sun began to set, casting a warm golden glow over the forest. It was time for Hoppy to return to his lily pad for a well-deserved rest. He hopped through the tall grass, squatting low to feel the cool breeze, scrunching his eyes to catch the last rays of sunlight, and lifting himself one final time. With a contented sigh, he whispered, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. Hoppy settled down on his lily pad, gazing up at the twinkling stars in the night sky. As he closed his eyes, he dreamt of all the exciting adventures yet to come. And so, my friends, that's the tale of Hoppy the Frog, the forest's greatest hopper. Remember, if you ever see a frog hopping by, don't forget to join in and shout, squat, scrunch, lift, and hop. Who knows? Maybe you'll discover your very own hopping adventures, too. Did you pick out any rhymes, new words, or patterns? Talk to your friends, parents, and teachers about it and complete the table. Search for new words in the dictionary and start your own word collection. And until we meet again, remember your imagination is limitless.